Yes, leveling resources. Leveling resources is a set of tools and techniques that will help the project manager solve over allocations in an easy way. It will consist in moving a task to the next availability of the over allocated resource. I'm Christian from Vision 6D. The project I'm going to take as an example, it's a project where I had the opportunity to work and that was really interesting. It was the design and the development of the electronic part of a new PTZ camera. The first steps in this part of the project were defining the requirement followed by a design, then we did the development and at the same time there were test procedures and tests that were performed. We had some over allocations issues here represented by the men in red and those resources were the engineers, a consultant for the electronic part and the QA people. We will solve the first over allocation which happened on task number 10 which is the power supply design. We see that it's supposed to start on July 4th and to end on July 15th. The over allocation is due to engineer 1. Pay also attention to the end of the project or in our case the milestone which is ready for production which is set to October 26 and that you see graphically here on the diagram. On the ribbon in the resource part I find a button that allows me to level. I can now select the resource I want to level. We've selected engineer 1 and now we are going to level it. We see that the task 10 has been moved to the next availability of engineer 1 and all tasks that were dependent on the task number 10 have been moved. We see that that, that design completed has now moved to the third, 23rd of September and if we pay a closer attention to the ready for production date, we see that now it has moved by the 16th December. We will now move to the next over allocation. And in that case, we see that at the leveling, three resources are over allocated. So MS Project is now going to level those three resources into the entire project. You will pay attention to the task with engineer 2 in this area, which is the one that we are leveling, but also this area down where there are other over allocations due to those three resources. Let's level now. And you've seen that the task has been moved here to ne next availability of engineer 2, as well are the tasks here down being moved. I did come back to the previous uh, situation because what I want to show you are the usage of the options. The option that interests me is the one here in the middle. We were able to level the entire project based on those resources and what I would like to do now it's just to level into this period of the project. I don't want to have any influence on the tasks which are here down which are the tasks 16, 17 and 18. For this I'm going here to define a period for the leveling I'm going to tell MS Project to level from August 4th to September 23rd. Now, and now I'm going to proceed with leveling. 
So we should see those tasks here down move, but we should see the ones here up being leveled up. And this is exactly what happened. We were leveling in a given period and not anymore to the entire project. A note of caution on complex projects. Before leveling, it's always good to know what is going to happen. Unfortunately, in complex projects, it's not always possible. So it's difficult to know which tasks are moved and which milestones have been moved. To illustrate this, I'm going to level the rest of the overallocated resources here in this project by using the level all button. So pay attention to what is going to happen. Maybe you have already an idea of what's going to happen. Let's try it. So we've seen that, first of all, all over allocations have disappeared. But for that, you see that all the tasks that were part of the test and that were done more or less in parallel, now they've become sequential. And of course, the date for the in production has moved to the 21st December. The leveling part in MS Project is really a nice tool. It really simplifies the work of a project manager when he is facing overallocate. It's Christian from Vision 6D, and for me, it's always a pleasure to share those knowledge. I'm looking forward to see you again on another module. Bye-bye, have a great day.